and welcome back. We'll definitely take your call soon and we'll link up with Abuja also soon because we have live feed uh, from uh, from Abuja. I still have a barista Onyekachi Ubani in the studio. Uh, barista Ubani, so, mm. okay, let's take the live feed before okay. I come to this question. Thank you. Uh, let's take what is happening. Okay, that is what is happening now, General, I mean, at uh, the Senate. guide all the counsels and actions so that we may always walk in the path of justice, love, and charity to one another. Help us with thy grace to do only those things that will promote the unity, happiness, and prosperity of Nigeria. Amen. So if there's anything important coming up, we will definitely uh, let you know by linking up back uh, to the National Assembly. Uh, so Barrister Bani, mm. uh, the question I was going to ask uh, then was, what was uh, the grudge of uh, Senator Marafa yesterday while he was saying, mm. I think he was saying that uh, uh, the case is still in court. Mm. Why is mm. that what was that what? Yeah, saying? normally according to their rules, in internal rules, when a matter is in court, they don't usually discuss it. In, in their in their session, that 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 is the they have a rule, a mm. particular order rule, you know, that actually specify that, and that was why he was raising that grouse, uh, raising that issue yesterday. But he was overruled by the Senate President. I think they they are also saying that you can bring in a matter under uh, national importance, yes. uh, you know, uh, there is an emergency mm. and all that. So he was saying even, even if the case was even in court, court Marafa yeah. shouldn't even have brought it up at all. No, no, he, he, should, he shouldn't say that. He, 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 you are presiding over a house and there is a vote of confidence by certain members. Somebody also has a right to say no, that vote of confidence should not be. I didn't see him handle that matter well. Mm. Because what he should have allowed is that if you have 83, there's nothing you should be afraid of. If he raises a counter motion, <laughs> let, let, the other, let the other people you know, vote. But whatever vote they will, they will gather, will not in any way supersede. 83. 83 because they're in majority because they have one me? or nine uh, because mm. if you are interested in hearing the motion in your favor as a senate president you must also be very eager and eager and, and i mean you know impartial in hearing the motion against you that is what you know the issue of what issue of leadership that is what what, what entails but he was interested in the one that is favorable and then he was ruling the other man out of order. i keep on hearing him uh, distinguished senator he was General not allowing him to move his yes, own motion yes. whereas somebody was allowed to move a motion yes, that was favorable yes. so i i think what they want to do and I want to say this with every sense of responsibility is that the, the is element of desperation in all this. And the, it was uh, this man that made a statement recently that is very key that a lot of politicians, most of the forms they submitted before the bureau are all lies. So they've started... Uh, I follow me. Some of them ways. are even going there now in order to retrieve to and all that. You know. mm. So if Saraki is tried and is convicted successfully, a lot of them will go in. Is that the fear of some That's the fear. So why would you allow, <laughs> it's only a tree that hears that they want to cut him, that he remains there, you know, standing. So they must do everything to score to. And let me tell you about the monumental fight that is in our hand as a nation. Corruption has eaten up almost all the fabric of Nigeria. And for you to fight and win the war against corruption, you must also be prepared to fight against corruption. Because corruption will rear his ugly head and fight back. And what they're doing now is that they're gathering. The Azes, the Obas, the Chiefs, you know, the Emirs, 
those who want to support corruption are all meeting, even though there are also those who those are, are, that are have benefited beautiful, from corruption. Those who are benefiting the politicians, and they are few, but they are very powerful. So whatever they can do to scuttle this year, so-called fight against corruption, they will do it. And they are gathering students, nuns, you know, in order to protest in their mm. favor and all that. But let me tell you, those who are for against those who are for the fight against corruption are in the majority, but they may not have the money. They may not have the media, but the, they power. Are, they, the power. Mm. But I want to tell them that we must be as strong as the rock of Gibraltar. Mm. Because the battle ahead is not going to be an easy battle. And that's why I said even this morning that if I am very close to President Buhari, what I wake up every morning to tell him, I say, oh God, GCK, be very, very strong. Because you will face distraction. They will oppose you. Sometimes you'll be discouraged even as a president and say, what do my people want? I want to fight so that we can have a country that I can call my own. And people are fighting me, you'll be discouraged. But what I will only be doing for him is to encourage him, Oga, mm. be very, very strong. Like, like the word of Taisho, like, yes. may your road be wrong. May your road you know, be very strong, sir. <laughs> because I passed through Nigerian airport as I traveled. One man gave one of the custom men money. Somebody was up there and said, don't do that. Don't do that. For the first time I saw it, they were very nice. As I was coming back, they were nicer. <laughs> it doesn't anything like that. So the country is changing. And who will not want to live in a country where you are not harassed, when you are exiting your country, when people are coming in and there is, you know, people smile and receive you because we pass through nations and they all smile. Nobody was asking you for anything. Mm. So why can't we have it like this in this nation? Mm. So this fight we are fighting is a monumental fight for us it to reclaim Nigeria. Mm and get a country that is working for you and I. Okay. It's going to be a fight. You said, uh, you mm. said uh, someone was allowed to move mm. a motion yes. while Marafa was not allowed, allowed to move, to move a motion. Yes. Sonny Yerima the from motion, Zafara yes. State. Yes. Uh, Sonny it, supported, yeah, yeah, he was allowed to second the motion. He was saying that mm. uh, they have, uh, as a senator, they have the right to choose their leaders. And uh, the right to choose their leadership should be respected. Mm -hmm. And he added that anybody outside this chamber who wants to control the Senate mm -hmm. should go and sleep. Yeah, it's a general and statement. It, yeah, he's asking, he's asking for non-interference in, in senatorial, I mean, in the House duties. Fine. Nobody should interfere with them. Nobody should interfere who they have chosen. They have chosen Saraki as their leader. Mm. No problem about that. Mm. But that does not mean that if there is any dissent voice, if anyone is dissenting in the house, he should not be allowed, his motion should not be allowed. You know no. what, that, you would, know, that would be wrong. You know, because if you are doing that, mm. then you are not exhibiting the quality you are preaching. Because he was preaching that we have a right to choose our leaders, meaning that the majority, the minority also voices must be heard in the Senate. Are you following me? Was sir? the Senate leader, yeah. was the Senate president chosen? He was elected. He was elected. Yes, he was elected in by, accord, the in a, in, yeah, by the majority in accordance with the constitution. Okay. Now the unfortunate thing was that the APC that brought him into power, most of them were not in the house uh, at the day of election, election. but he was properly elected. elected. Okay. Mm. Because he made mention of uh, during his speech, yes. it was it was it was, it was a heavy one. Really, no, he said, uh, mm. uh, "Distinguished senators, let me say it again that I am ready and I will submit myself to the entire mm -hmm. judicial process as provided right. by law. Mm -hmm. I am on trial today." He said he was reemphasizing yeah. mm. mm. what he said mm. during the Code of Conduct Tribunal that because he is the president of the Nigerian Senate mm -hmm. and against the wishes of some powerful individuals mm. outside the chamber. You resort to sentiment when, of course, yes. uh, if you are a drowning man, what you have to clutch at anything that is available. I agree that he's into this is problem. He's playing with sentiment. Yeah, he's yeah, playing he with sentiment, of course. But he is actually in this trouble because he did certain things that was contrary to the will of the political party. I don't know whether the issue of his criminal trial would have been on against him if he had behaved himself, in quote, behaved. Are you following me, sir? Mm. But whatever it is, it takes evil men also to really exercise evil. It happened in South Africa. It happened in, 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 in Russia, where oh, it was wow. in the same class that committed what you call class suicide. He took a white man to end apartheid. Mr. Bani, yes. uh, the Senate president is talking. Let's okay. try and listen okay. to what he's talking about. See, endorsement of Professor Shola Adeyeye as chief whip of the 8th Senate of National Assembly. We the assigned members of the South Korea Caucus of the 8th Senate of National Assembly hereby endorse the nomination of Professor Olu Shola Adeyeye as the chief whip. We are concerned that the position is hereby filled by Southwest and hereby endorsed Kofiadeye to occupy the vacant seat. We shall be grateful for your speedy action on this endorsement. Please accept the assurances of IIS regards, signed by Senators from the Southwest. 
to the sergeant of arms take him to his seat. for discussion shall, if possible, be referred to the President of the Senate before commencement of the day sitting, and the President of the Senate shall refuse to allow the claim unless he is satisfied that the matter is definite and urgent. Two, if the claim is allowed by the President of the Senate and the leave of the Senate is given by at least one-fifth of all the Senators, the matter shall stand over to the next legislative day. Finally, and the third, not more than one such motion may be made at the same sitting. Okay. Mr. President, my name is Senator Mao, who have been representing the entire people of Abia North. I want to bring to the notice of this House, of this Senate, a time bomb, an accident about to happen, if not checked, and that is the plight of new Nigerian medical doctors in training. Mr. President, I'm happy you are a medical doctor and you will know what our health situation is today in this country. You will know how many doctors we have tonight. The reason why we keep going back to the uh, Senate is because we, we also are waiting for the list. Uh, I, I am the, thinking, the I thought that it was the name that was being read. Yes, you know? that's <laughs> what I thought also when they were saying that mm. the, the nomination, mm. I mean the confirmation of Shola uh, and the uh, Professor uh, Shola uh, uh, as, as a chief whip of the management. Chief, chief whip, yes. And uh, uh, talking about that, uh, we're looking at uh, progress, mm. how far we've been uh, uh, and 55 years after. Mm -hmm. Do you know that since 1999, the Senate has been, uh, the leadership of the Senate, because you were going to say that mm -hmm. then, has been the one that's been fraught with uh, regular, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, controversies. That's right. Uh, right from uh, Evans Ewerem. Evans, Evans Ewerem did not spend, I mean, he spent it's, like six months. So yeah, I, I don't think up to six months he was removed. 100, and, yeah, according to information, 140, 168 days, days yeah. after he was removed, he mm -hmm. was impeached. Something and uh, also Okadibo, Chuba Okadibo. Okadibo. We had uh, uh, Adolfo Zwabara. Pius Ayim was there. Ayim managed. Yeah, he managed. Yeah, he survived he managed. it. He survived it, just like also the other man survived under uh, the man that uh, sculpted the best and just data mm, ambition mm, in, uh, in Amani. In, in Amani. In Amani. In Amani. Uh, you know that I, actually endeared him to the people. You know he was also his uh, position was threatened. In fact, that is when the notorious uh, parable of uh, banana peel. Yes. You know actually was uh, was told. You know the story of banana peel. You know mm. in, anytime you occupy that position. It's always a very slippery position. Mm. Um, most people, <laughs> they didn't survive it. So I don't know whether this strong, strong man of para will survive it. Mm. Mm. It's, it's, it's a real battle. It's a real battle for him. And that's why the desperation in everything they are doing, this issue of vote of course, as I said, it has no relevance under our democracy issue of vote of confidence. And I tell you, when he was elected, the circumstances of his election, it also will affect his position. It's, it will have, if I will, uh, it will uh, trail him throughout the duration. 
everything he's going to do as a senior president will be to please the members of the House. And I've said it earlier. He will always run contrary to the wish and will of his political party. But, but, but because but any day he fails them, any day he, they feel offended, his tenure, his tenure will, be, will be in problem. Okay. Mm. I have Honorable Idris calling from Ijebu, Go, yes. Ogun State. I will come back to okay. you. Good uh, morning, Honorable. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, they know it's uh, let, me, let me just start in uh, happy independence and advance to Nigeria. Thank you. Oh, can you do uh, me a favor, Honorable? Can you speak louder, please? Louder, we're not hearing you clearly. Sorry. I said that by being independent in advance to Nigeria, all the change they have like every everyone knows what it is like. Then on the uh hello. Yes, yes. I'm trying to on get you. Child, on the child in the uh let me just when you want to respect, you must respect for everything. Because criticism will come, be it good or bad. People will surely criticize you. For you to be the head, you must Accept of criticism. What I'm trying to say is, is that uh, the line is not that friendly, also, because I was trying to get what you were saying. Could try and call back, please. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, 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 there was it was a pious iron, or yeah, that 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 tried to bring everybody together. You know, mm -hmm. I think he stayed longer yeah, there because he, he tried to because they said he carried he brought, everyone along. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he had almost 80 something committees yeah that's so true. he tried to make Every everybody a committee chairman, committee chairman. <laughs> i think that was a good one <laughs> and again he did not go near all the money yeah. he just made all the money public yeah, yeah. okay this is where you are going to catch me mm. okay you are not yeah, going I'm to I'm catch not, me if you yeah, can exactly. <laughs> but i tell you the, the house senate if you examine it from 1999 to date they've never worked in the interest of the people mm. Anytime you see them pass any resolution in a hurry, it's all about themselves. Themselves. Even this issue of with this vote of confidence, you know, two times now within three months or within two months. You said it's all it's, about them. It's all about them because they are also afraid. Whatever, all, whatever, if, whatever if, happens if to the leader. The flag, if you open the flag for this man and this man is successfully convicted, we are all guilty. We are all liable. Wow. We are all we are all in the same boat wow. and all that. Because wow. most of them make this false declaration. The country has gotten to the level that if you know the rot in the system, my brother Dapo, eh? You will need to call a national mourning. Let us mourn for this nation. I'm <laughs> telling you to redeem this nation. I have a caller, Shola, from Ketu. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, please, uh, I wanted to contribute, your, uh, to contribute to the topic you are uh, discussing this morning. Okay. Yeah. You see, I think it is the right time for Nigeria to rise up and stand to that, uh, uh, their right of voting to these uh, senators okay. in the National Assembly. This has shown the kind of senators who have voted to the National Assembly. I want Nigerians, like I've said earlier on, that we should stand up and rise and protect our vote. It has shown that these uh, senators are not ready to support the, uh, the corruption, the corruption uh, war against uh, uh, corruption. So now why did, say, why did he say so? Why did he say so? Why I said so is it has clearly shown on how the senators are supporting the, uh, the Senate president. We have about 83 of them supporting uh, uh, Saraki. So what is very, very clear in that this man is, 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 uh, is, is guilty of this offense. Mm. It has shown that these people are not ready to protect the interests of Nigerians. Okay then, Shola. Thank you very much. I have to let you go now because we need to leave the lines open for others. But I do get what you are trying to say. And so... Uh, maybe Shara brings us to what uh, we're Shara, saying, yeah. like uh, 80, 83, mm -hmm. uh, like a majority. Mm -hmm. And you're saying most of these people are scared of it. They are scared. They are scared. They need to close the, the flank. They don't succeed in convicting this man. Most of them, I, you know, I read it while I brought. 
that most of them are running to the bureau, uh, asking yeah, for so, so a I new form. Please give me the form. Let me make some yes, corrections. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Just, I know. Let me correct it. I you did know, not because, have. Uh, or because I, we had a country where everything goes. You know, it was a country of impunity. You do anything, you get away with it. The system does not in any way carry out checks. But if you go to all these economies, you see, it's not the president alone, you know, working for the nation. Everyone is doing his own bit. That is the beauty of these countries that you travel to. Mm. You see everyone contributing his own quota. The man on the street that is sweeping is contributing his own quota, making sure that he's on his beat, the, the roads are clean and all that. Because that is duty he's assigned to do. And so his country is neat. The man that is at the immigration, the man that is in the, the custom, everyone is doing one thing or the other to keep the country working. So the, what the president does, you know, as a, a national leader is to, you know, churn out policies. And those policies are being executed by citizens. So all of us must begin to rise up in order to do our own bit. What I'm doing here, everyone is doing it all, all over. You know, some are the lawyers, the, the journalists, the, the, the judges. Everyone must really think Nigeria and rescue this nation. Okay. That, okay. That, that is my call. Okori is mm. calling from Sierra Leone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your contribution and, today, uh, Mr. Van, how is everything? I'm fine, my brother. Morning. I, uh, I enjoy the discussion. Thank and you. And I love what the people are saying. Mm -hmm. The issue of corruption is a, a highly phenomenon as far as Nigeria is concerned. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we need to tackle seriously. But the way I am, this thing should not just stop from one person. We should not just stop from Karachi alone. That's right. We make sure that this thing can be a continuous something so that at the end of the day, Nigeria might be able to achieve something. Okay. Because we have suffered a lot of corruption. That's Thank right. You Thank you. All right, and thank you very much. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful so what goes around comes around. Yeah, everyone. I follow me, everyone. Let there be, and I'm also happy with the president. Because if anyone's name is mentioned for anything corruption, you find out that the man himself also distanced, which has not been the practice. Remember before, even if, in fact, the, the, the dirtier you are, you know, so to speak, the better you, know, the better you are closer to those in authority. Mm, and all mm. But the man is trying to say, look, let's, let there be a departure. Because if you see what corruption has done to us as a nation, I, uh, mm. you, you, you fly out and you fly in. You come into that Monotala Mohammed airport. Does that airport befit this country? Not at all. As a nation? Not at all. Based upon the kind of money we have? Not at all. <laughs> that, that cannot even suffice for any local airport abroad. Look at, I mean, in everything. Is he in, in this? From the uh, moment we landed there, the, we were ex, we exited. The, the, the entire environment was so hot. The AC is There is no AC that was, not even a single one that uh, was working, sir. The AC is The up. entire AC. And you see these white men that come with good, you know, environment. They come from good environment where it's very cold. And you now put them in, I can, I can survive. I can, I can manage it. I'm here. Because you are used I mean, to I mean, it. used to it. Mm. But I'm not used to it. And let you are inviting them to come into your country? Let me quickly take our last caller, Reverend Dominic. Good morning, Reverend. Good morning, Good, yeah, good morning. Barry says good morning. Morning, my brother, Evan. Uh, uh, Barry, I opened my wound this morning when you talk about Dubai. When I visit that nation, you have to trek about four miles before you go to the point of, you know, leaving the airport. And I asked them why. They say, we want, we want you to see the beauty yeah. of this airport. It's about six miles straight. And if you don't have strength, you use your, you know, motorbike. But when you come to our nation here, it's a nice one. But I believe that what we in National Assembly today make me know that <coughs> it may be difficult for we to fight this corruption. I give an example. The day last year, they were doing public hearing for gay, their gay law, which is set of God's in. I went to that National Assembly. They stopped me at gate. Everything that was done for me to pass, they said, no, we want to make our own case in public hearing. But they stopped me. But yesterday, I saw a young boy that he played hard to play senior president. And I asked myself, how did they cross that game? If I remember, nobody could not go because they know my face. What I'm trying to say is this. In every nation that makes progress, the, the people that make that progress happen is the lawmakers. Because it's a nation of rule of law. But when the National Assembly is a different page, and the president is a different page, we can't make this progress. Mm. If you can see the body language of senators, we cannot pick anyone and jail them. They okay. have solidarity around themselves. All right, and, and Reverend. Reverend, I just, I just have to let you go. 
because we are uh, seriously uh, run out. We've run out of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was mentioned in the protesters yesterday. Mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. uh, some people from the National Association yes. of Nigerian Students. Mm -hmm. They could not even spell immensely yeah, correctly. Exactly, exactly. And, those, uh, and, and those these are the ones who now went to go and speak on behalf of the entire Nigerian students, you know. I am not taken aback by such. Remember as, the as, youths, as you round up. Yeah, mm. youths earnestly ask for Abacha. Remember my brother Kano and all that. You know, and then I was reading hundred years of Abacha written by Adeni. You know, I saw such you know the names of Nigerians. They are still, you know, relevant in Nigerian politics, who actually supported Abacha, who also wanted to support the third time ambition of President Abasanjo. They are there. You know, I am not distracted. We shouldn't be distracted. It after all, the grandsons of uh, Abraham included uh, Ahab. The worst king ever in the land mm. of it, it included uh, Jeroboam and all that. You know, we, we have them, but the majority must always remain focused because this fight is a monumental fight. You want to eliminate something that has eaten deep into the fabric. Is it going to be an easy fight? It's not they will resist you. But when we are determined, and we have a determined leadership, and that's why I'm interested in who becomes a minister, you know, we have determined leadership in this nation who are averse to those corrupt practices in the nation. And we all want to regain this nation because we want to bring this nation back. And to we will definitely get We it. can do that. It is possible. You and I have to do our own duty. You are doing your, I'm doing mine. Do yeah, let everyone do it. This country is going and to be a better there. country. We get there. Mm. Believe me, we get there. And our children will pray for they us. Will, they, will, they, will, they will be happy that we, we came. Thank you very mm. much, mm. Barista mm. Obani. You, you've been fantastic. Mm. Thank you very much for being part of the program. Thank you. And this is how far we can go on the program today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we've been trying to get that list, the announcement. <laughs> but don't forget, immediately when we get it, here on this station, we will <laughs> let you know. So you should continue also on TV Entertainment and watching us. My name is Dakbo Arua Joy, and the breakfast show still continues on TV Entertainment. Bye for now, and God bless Nigeria.